Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, today I will be doing the B-movie script. Uh, so, let's just get right into it. <clears throat> According to all known lo laws of aviation, there's no way a bee should be able to fly. Its wings are too small to get its fat little body off the ground. The bee, of course, flies anyway, because bees don't care what humans think is impossible. Yellow, black, yellow, black, yellow, black, yellow, black. Ooh, black and yellow. Let's shake it up a little. Barry, breakfast is ready. Coming. Hang on a second. Hello? Barry, Adam. Ooh, can you believe this is happening? I can't. I'll pick you up. Looking sharp. Use the stairs. Your father paid good money for those. Sorry, I'm excited. Here's the graduate. We're very proud of you, son. A perfect report, report card. All bees. Very proud. Ma, I got a thing going here. You got lint on your fuzz. Oh, that's me. Wave to us. We'll be in row 118,000. Bye. Barry, I told you, stop flying in the house. Hey, Adam. Hey, Barry. Is that fuzz gel? A little. Special day graduation. Never thought I'd make it. Three days grade school, three days high school, those were awkward. Three days college, I'm glad I took a day and hitchhiked around the hive. You did, you did come back different. Hi Barry, already growing a mustache, looks good. Hear about Frankie? Yeah. You going to the funeral? No, I'm not going. Everybody knows, sting someone, you die. Don't waste it on a squirrel, such a hothead. I guess he could have just gotten out of the way. I love this incorporated... Is, is incorporating an amusement park into our day. That's why we don't need vacations. Boys quite a bit of pomp under the circumstances. Well, Adam, today we are men. We are be men. Amen. Hallelujah. Students, faculty, distinguished fees, please welcome Dean Buswell. Welcome New Hive City. Graduating class of 915. That concludes our ceremonies and begins your career at Honex Industries. Will we pick our job today? I heard it's just orientation. Heads up, here we go. Keep keep your heads and antennas inside the tram at all times. Wonder what it'll be like. A little scary. Welcome to Honex, a division of Honesco, and a part of Hexicon Group. This is it. Wow, wow. We know that you, as a bee, have worked your whole life to get to this point where you can work for your whole life. Honey begins when our valiant pollen jocks bring the nectar to the hive, our top secret formula. It automatically color corrected scent, adjusted and bubble contoured, into the soothing sweet syrup with its distinctive golden glow, you know as Honey! That girl was hot. She's my cousin. She is? Yes, we're all cousins. Right, you're right. At Honex, we consti constantly strive to improve every aspect of bee existence. These bees are stress testing a new helmet technology. What do you think he makes? Not enough. Here we have our latest advancements, the Krellman. What does that do? Uh, catches the little strand of honey. That hangs after you pour it. It saves us millions. Can anyone work at on the Krellman? Of course, most bee jobs are small ones. Bees know that every small job, if it's done well, means a lot. But choose carefully, because you'll stay in the job you take for the rest of your life. The same job the rest of your life? I didn't know that. What's the difference? You'll be happy to know that bees as a species haven't had one day off in 27 million years. So you'll just work us to death? We'll sure try. Wow, that blew my mind. What's the difference? How can you say that? On job forever? That's an insane choice to have to make. I'm relieved now we only have to make one decision in life. But Adam, how could that never have how could they never have told us that? Why would you question anything? We're bees. We're the most perfectly functioned society on earth. You ever think maybe things work a little too well here? Like what? Give me one example. I don't know, but you know what I'm talking about. Please clear the gate. Royal nectar force on approach. Wait a second. Check it out. Hey, those are the pollen jocks. Wow. I've never seen them this close. They know what it's like outside the hive. Yeah, but some don't come back. Hey, jocks. Hi, jocks. You guys did great. You're monsters. You're sky freaks. I love it. I love it. I wonder where they were. I don't know. Their day's not planned. Outside the hive, flying, who knows. We're doing who knows what. You can't just decide to be a pollen jock. You have to be bred for that. Right. 
Look, there's more pollen that then you can have, and I will see in a lifetime. It's just a status symbol. Bees make too much of it. Perhaps unless you're wearing it, and then ladies see you wearing it. Those ladies, aren't they our cousins too? Distant. Distant. Distant, Barry. Distant. Look at these two. Couple of hive hairies. Let's have fun with them. It must be dangerous being a pollen jock. Yeah, I want the bear pin me against a mushroom. He had a paw in my throat, and with the other, he was slapping me. Oh my, I never thought I'd knock him out. Oh, what were you doing during this? Trying to alert the authorities. I can autograph that. A little gusty out there today. Wasn't it, comrades? Yeah, gusty. We're in the sunflower patch six miles from here tomorrow. Six miles, huh? Barry, a puddle jump for us. But maybe not. Uh, maybe you're not up for it. Maybe I am. You are not. We're going 0900 at J-Gate. What do you think, Bussy Boy? Are you B enough? I might be. It all depends on what 0900 means. Hey, Honex. Dad, you surprised me. You decide what you're interested in? Well, there's a lot of choices, but you only get one. Do you ever get bored during the same job every day? Son, let me tell you something about stirring. You grab that stick and you just move it around and you stir it around. You get yourself into a rhythm. It's a beautiful thing. You know, Dad, the more I think about it, maybe the honey field is just isn't right for me. You were thinking about what? Making balloon animals? That's a bad job. That's a guy for, that's for, for a guy with a single. Janet, your son's not sure he wants to go into honey. Barry, you're not so, you're, you're so funny sometimes. I'm trying. I'm not trying to be funny. You're not funny. You're going into honey. Our son, the stirrer. You're going to be stirred. No one's listening to me. Wait till you see the sticks I have. I got. I could say anything right now. I'm going to get in on an ant or two. Let's open some honey and celebrate. Maybe I'll pierce my thorax, shave my antenna, shake off with a grasshopper, get a gold tooth and call everybody dog. I'm so proud. We're starting work today. Today is the day. Come on. All the good jobs will be gone. Yeah, right. Pollen counting, stumpy, pour, pouring, stirrer, stirrer, front desk, hair removal. Is it still available? Hang on. Two left. Uh, one of them's yours. Congratulations. Step to the side. Uh, alright, hold on, hold on, hold on. Alright, here we go. Uh, what'd you get? Picking crud out, Stellar. Wow, couple newbies. Yes, sir. Our first day, we are ready. Make your choice. You want to go first? No, you go. Oh, my, what's available? Restrooms attendance open. Not for the reason you think. Any chance of getting the crow in? Sure, you're on. I'm sure, I'm sorry, the crow just closed out. Wax monkey's always open. The crow went open up again. What happened? A bee died. A bee died making an open. See? He's dead. Another dead one. Deadly. Dead fine. Two more dead. Dead from the neck up. For dead from the neck down. That's life. Oh, this is so hard. <sighs> Heating, cooling, some people. Poor stir. Humming, inspector. Number seven. Lint, coordinator. Stripe, super striker. Mike, wrangler. Barry. What do you think I should do, Barry? Barry! Alright, we've got some power patch in the quadrant nine. What happened to you? Where are you? I'm going out. Out where? Out there. Oh no! I have to go. Before I go work the, for the rest of my life. You're gonna die! You're crazy! Hello? Another call came in. Uh, if anyone's feeling brave, there's Korean Deli on A3rd. That's get, that gets their roses today. Hey, guys. Look at that. Isn't that the kid we saw yesterday? Hold it, son. Flight deck's restricted. It's okay, look. Lou, we're gonna take him up. Really? Still lucky, are you? Sign here. Here? Just initial that. Thank you. Okay. You got a rain advisory today. And as you all know, bees cannot fly in the rain. So be careful. As always, watch your brooms. Hockey sticks, dogs, birds, bears, and bats. Also, I get a couple reports of root beer being poured on us. Murphy's in a home because of it battling like a cicada. That's awful. And a reminder for you rookies. Be law number one. Absolutely no talking to humans. All right, launch decisions. Buzz, 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 Black and yellow. Hello? You ready for this? Hot shot? Yeah, yeah, bring it on. Wind check. Antenna check. Nectar pack. Check. Wings check. Stinger check. Scare my shorts? Check. Okay, ladies, let's move it out. Pound those pen petunias. You strip stem suckers. All of you, drain those flowers. Wow, I'm out. I can't believe I'm out. So blue. I feel so fast and free. Box kite. Wow, flowers. This is blue leader. We have ro roses visible. Bring it around 30 degrees and hold. Roses. 30 degrees. Roger. Bring it around. Stand to the side, kid. It's got a big kick. It is one nectar collector. And ever seen pollination up close? No, sir. I pick up some pollinate pollen here. Sprinkle it over here. Maybe dash over there. A pinch on that one. See that? It's a little bit of magic. That's amazing. Why do we do that? That's pollen power. More pollen, more flowers, more nectar, more honey for us. Ooh. Cool. I'm picking up a lot of bright yellow. Could could be daisies. 
Don't we need those? Oop, coop. Copy that visual. Wait, one of those flowers seems to be on the move. Say again? You're reporting a moving flower? Affirmative. That was on the line. This is the coolest. What is it? I don't know, but I'm loving this color. It smells good. Not like a flower, but I like it. Yeah, fuzzy. Chemically. Careful, guys. It's a little grabby. My sweet lord of beef. Candy brain, get off there. Problem. Guys, this could be bad. Affirmative. Very close. Gonna hurt. Mom and little boy. You are right out of position, rookie. Who am coming in, in at you like a missile? Help me. I don't think these are flowers. Should we tell him? I think he knows. What is this? Match point. You can start packing up, honey, because we're about to eat it. Yowzer. Gross. There's a bee in the car. Do something. I'm driving. Hi, bee. He's back here. He's going to sting me. Nobody move. If you don't move, he won't sting you. Freeze. He blinked. Spray him, granny. What are you doing? Wow, the tension level out here is, um, is unbelievable. I got to get home. Can't find the rain. Can't find the rain. Can't find the rain. Mayday, mayday. Be going down. Ken, could you close the window, please? Ken, could you close the window, please? Check out my new resume. I made it into a fold-out room. You see? Fold out. Oh, no. More humans. I don't need this. What was that? Maybe this time, this time, this time, this time, this time, this. Drinks. This is diabolical. It's fantastic. It's got all my special skills, even my top 10 favorite movies. What's number one? Star Wars. Nah, I don't go for that. It's kind of stuff. <clears throat> no wonder we shouldn't talk to them. They're out of their minds. When I'm... When I leave a job interview, they're flabbergasted. Can't believe what I, what I say. There's the sun. Maybe there's a way out. I don't remember the sun having a big 75 on it. I predicted global warming. I could feel it getting hotter at first. I thought it was just me. Wait, stop. B, stand back. These are winter boots. Stand back. These are winter boots. Wait, don't kill him. You know I'm allergic to them. This could kill me. Why does this life have less have any less value than yours? Why does his life have any less value than mine? Is that your statement? I'm just saying all life has value. You don't know what he's capable of feeling? My brochure! There you go, little guy. <clears throat> I'm not scared of him. It's an allergic thing. Put that on your resume brochure. My whole face could puff up. Make it one of your special skills. Knocking someone out, it's also a special kill. Skill. Right, bye, Vanessa. Thanks. Vanessa, next week, yogurt night? Sure can, you know, whatever. You can put care of chicks in there. Bye. It's supposed to, like, it's supposed to be less calories. Bye. I gotta say something. She saved my life. I gotta say something. Alright, here it goes. Nah, what should I say? I could really get in trouble. It's a bee law. You're not supposed to talk to a human. I can't believe I'm doing this. I got to. Oh, I can't do it. Come on. No, yes, no, do it. I can't. How, how should I start it? You're like No, that's no good. Here she comes. Speak, you fool. Hi, I'm sorry. You're talking. Yes, I know. You're talking. I'm so sorry. No, it's okay. That's fine. I know I'm doing But I don't recall going to bed. Well, I'm sure it's very disconcerting. That's a bit of a surprise to me. I mean, you're a bee. I am, and I'm not supposed to be doing this. But they were all trying to kill me. And if it wasn't for you, uh, I had to thank you. Know, I had to thank you. It's just how I was raised. That was a little weird. I'm talking with the bee. Yeah, I'm talking with the bee. And the bee is talking to me. I just want to say I'm grateful. I'll leave now. Wait, how do you learn to do that? What? The talking thing. Same way you did, I guess. Mama, Dada, honey, you pick it up. That's very funny. Yeah, bees are funny. We, if we didn't laugh, we'd cry with what we had to deal with. Anyway, can I get you something? Like what? I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Coffee? Uh, I don't know. Well, I want you to put it up. It's no trouble. It takes two minutes. It's just coffee. I hate to impose. Don't be ridiculous. Actually, I would love a cup. Hey, you want rum cake? Uh, I shouldn't have some. No, I can't. Come on. I'm just trying to lose a couple of micrograms. Where? These stripes don't help. You look great. I don't know if you know anything about fashion. Are you alright? No. <sighs> He's making the tie in the cab as they are flying up Madison. He finally gets there. He runs up and says to the church, the wedding song. And he says, Watermelon? I thought you said Guatemalan. Well, I marry Watermelon. Is that a bee joke? That's the kind of stuff we do. Yeah, different. So what are you going to do, Barry? About work? I don't know. I want to do my part for the hive, but I can't do it the way they want. You know, I know how you feel. You do? Sure. My parents wanted me to be a lawyer or a doctor, but I wanted to be a florist. Really? My only interest is flowers. Our new queen has just elected the, with the same campaign slogan. Anyway, if you look, there's my hive right there. You see it? There, you're in Sheep Meadow. Yes, I'm right off the turtle pond. No way, I know that area. I lost a toe ring there once. Why do girls put rings on their toes? Why not? It's just like putting a hat on your knee. Maybe I'll try that. You all right, ma'am? Oh, yeah, fine. Just having two cups of coffee. Anyway, this has been great. Thanks for the coffee. Yeah, it's no trouble. Sorry I couldn't finish it. If I did, I'd be up the rest of my life.
Are you? Can I take a piece of this with me? Sure. Here, have a crumb. Thanks. Yeah. All right. Well, then, I guess I'll see you around. Or not. Okay, Barry. And thank you so much again for before. Oh, that? That was nothing. Well, not nothing. But anyway, this can't possibly work. He's all set to go. We might, we may as well try it. Okay, Dave, pull the chute. Sounds amazing. It was amazing. It was the scariest, happiest moment of my life. Humans, I can't believe you were with humans. Giant, scary humans, what were they like? Huge and crazy, they talk crazy. They eat crazy things, they drive crazy. Do they try to kill you, like on TV? Some of them, but some of them don't. How'd you get back? Poodle. You did it, and I'm glad you saw whatever you wanted to see. You had your... <coughs> you had your experience, now you can pick out your job and be normal. Well, 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 I met someone. You did? Was she beish? A wasp? Your parents will kill you. No, 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 not a wasp. Spider? I'm not attracted to spiders. I know, it's the hottest thing with eight legs and all. I can't get that face. So who is she? She's human. No, no, that's B Law. You could break B Law. Her name's Vanessa. Oh boy. She's so nice. She's the floors. Oh no, you're dating a human force? We're not dating. You're flying outside the hive, talking to humans that attacked our homes. Our power washers and the M80s. One eighth of six dynamite. She saved my life, and she understands. This is over. Eat this. This is not over. What was that? That's, they call it a crumb. It's so stinging, stripey. And that's not what they eat. That's what falls off what they eat. You know what a cascade bun is? No. It's bread and cinnamon and frosting. They heat it up. Sit down really hard. What are you doing? We're no, we are not them. We're us. There's us and there's them. Yes, but who can deny the heart of this yearning? There's no yearning. Stop yearning. Listen to me. You have got to start thinking B, my friend. Thinking B. 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 There he is. He's in the pool. You know what your problem is, Barry? I gotta start thinking, B. How long will this go on? It's been three days. Why aren't you working? I've got a lot of big life decisions to think about. What life? You have no life. You have no job. You barely be. Would it kill you to make a little honey? Barry, come out. Your father's talking to you. Martin, would you talk to him? Barry, I'm talking to you. You coming? Got everything? All set. Go ahead. I'll catch up. Don't be too long. Watch this. Vanessa! We're still here. I told you not to yell at him. He doesn't respond to yelling. Well, then why do I yell at him? Because you don't listen? I'm not listening to this. Sorry, I gotta go. Where are you going? I'm, a, I'm meeting a friend. A girl? Is this why you can't decide? Bye. I just saw, I just hope she's be it. They have a huge parade of flowers every year in Pasadena. To be in, in the Tournament of Roses. That's every floor stream. Up on a float surrounded by flowers, crowds cheering. A tournament. Do the roses complete an athletic event? No, alright. I've got one. How... How come you don't fly everywhere? It's exhausting. Why don't you run everywhere? It's faster. Yeah, okay, I see, I see. All right, your turn. Uh, Tivo, you can just freeze live TV? That's insane. What? You don't have that? We have Hivo, but that's a disease. It's horrible. Horrible disease. Oh, my. The bees. Oh, stuffy nose. All right. You must want to sting all, sting all the sharks. We're not, we're not stinging. It's usually fatal for us. So you have to watch your temper. Very carefully. You kick a wall, take a walk. Right an angry letter and throw it out. Work through an, uh, like any emotion. Anywhere, tell us you lust. Oh my goodness, are you okay? Yeah. What's wrong with you? It's a bug. It's not, he's not bothering anybody. Get out of here, you creep. What was that? A pick and save circular? Yeah, it was like, it was, how did you know? It felt like about 10 pages. 75 is pretty much our limit. You really got oh, that down to a science. I've lost cousins to Italian Vogue. I'll bet. What in the name of Mighty Hercules is this? How did this get in here? Quick. Quote B, Golden Blossom, Ray Liotta, Private Select. Is he that character? I've never heard of him. Why is he here? For the, for people. We eat it. You don't have enough food of your own? Well, yes. How did you get it? Bees make it. I know who makes it. And it's hard to make it. There's heating, cooling, stirring. You need a whole Kremlin thing. It's organic. It's organic. It's just honey, Barry. Guess what? Bees don't know about this. This is stealing. A lot of stealing. You're taking our homes, schools, hostels. This is all we have. <coughs> and it's on sale? I'm getting to the bottom of this. I'm getting to the bottom of all of this. Hey, Hector. You almost done? Almost. He is here. I sense it. Well, I guess I'll go home now. And I'll just leave this nice honey out with no one around. You're busted, box boy. I knew I heard something, so you can talk. I can talk, and now you start talking. Where are you getting the sweet stuff? Who's your supplier? I don't understand. I thought we were friends. The last thing we want to do is upset the bees. You're too late. It's ours now. You, sir, have crossed the wrong sword. You, sir, will be lunch for my iguana, Ignacio. Where's the... Where's the honey coming from? Tell me where. Honey farms. It comes from honey farms. Oh, crazy person. What horrible thing has happened here? 
These faces, they never knew I hit them now. And now, they're on the road to nowhere. Just keep them still. What? You're not dead? Do I look dead? They will wipe anything that moves. Where are you headed? To Honey Farms. I'm on to something huge here. I'm going to Alaska. Mount Moose Blood. Crazy stuff. Bullshit head off. I'm going to Tacoma. And you? He really is dead. Alright. Oh, oh. What is that? Oh, no. A wiper? Triple wave? Triple wave? Come on. Jump on. Oh, it's the only chance to be. Why does everything have to be so dark clean? How much do people do you need? Open your eyes. Stick your head out in the window. From the NPR News in Washington. I'm Carl Castle. But don't kill no more bugs. Be Moose Blood guy. You hear something like what? Like tiny screaming. Turn up. Turn off the radio. What's up, B-boy? Hey, bud. Just a, just a row of honey jars, as far as I can see. Wow, I assume where, wherever this truck goes is where they're getting it. I mean, the honey jars. Be hang tight. We're all jammed in. It's a close community. Not us, man. We are, we on our own. Every mosquito on his own. What if you get in trouble? You're a mosquito. You're in trouble. Nobody likes you. You're smack. See a mosquito. Smack, smack. At least you got out of this world. You just meet, you must meet girls. Mosquitoes, mosquito girls try to trade up with Get with a moth, dragonfly. Mosquito girl don't want no mosquito. You gotta be kidding me. Moose, Moose Blood's about to leave the building. So long, B. Hey guys, Moose Blood. I, kn I knew it would catch you all down here. Did you bring your crazy straw? We throw it in jars. Slap a label in it. And three ones pre profit. What is this place? A beast got a brain. The size pin at. They're a pin at. The pin at. Check out the new smoker. Oh, sweet. That's the one you want. The Thomas Reese has a smoker. 90 puffs a minute. Semi automatic. Dwight's and nicotine all the time. A couple of rest of this and knock them right out. They make the honey and we make the hon money. They make the honey and we make the money? Oh my. What's going on? Are you okay? Yeah, it doesn't last too long. Do you know where? Do you know you're in the f in a fake hive with fake walls? Our queen has moved here. We have we've had no choice. This is your queen? That's a man in woman's clothes. That's a drag queen. What is this? Oh no. There's hundreds of them. Be honey. Our honey is, is being brazenly stolen on a massive scale. This is worse than anything <coughs> anything bears done. I intend to do something. Oh Barry, stop. Who told you humans are taking our honey? That's a rumor. Do these do these look like rumors? That's a compute a conspiracy theme theory. They're, these are obviously doctored photos. How did you get mixed up in this? He's been talking to humans. What? Talking to humans? He has a human girlfriend. And they make out. Make out? Barry! We do not! You wish you could. Whose side are you on? The bees! I dated a cricket once in San Antonio. Those crazy legs kept me up all night. Barry, this is what you want to do with your life? I want to do it for all our lives. Nobody works harder than bees. Dad, I remember you. C coming home so overworked, your hands were still stirring. You couldn't stop. I remember that. What right do they have to take our honey? We live on two cups a year. They put it in the lip balm for no reason whatsoever. Ah, uh, sore throat. Ah, uh, going on for a little while. Even if it's true, what can one bee do? Sting them where it really hurts. In the face, the eye. That would hurt. No. Up the nose, that's a killer. There's one, only one place you can sting the humans. One place where it matters. High five at five. The hive's only for full out or Full hour action news service. No more bee beards with Bob Bumble at the anchor desk. Weather with storm singers. Sports with Buzz Larvey and Jeanette H Chung. Good evening, I'm Bob Bumble. And I'm Jeanette Chung. A tri-county bee, Barry Benson, intends to sue the human race for stealing our honey. Packaging it and profiting from it illegally. Tomorrow night on Bee Larry King, we'll have three former queens here in our studio discussing their new book. Classy ladies out on this week on Hexagon. Tonight we're talking to Barry Barry Benson. Did you ever think I'm a kid from the hive? I can't do this. Bees have never been afraid to change the world. What about B Columbus? B Gaudi? B Jesus? Where I'm from, we've never sued humans. We are thinking of stickball or candy stores. How old are you? The bee community is supporting you in this case, which will be the trial for, of the bee century. You know that having a Larry King in the human world, too. That's a common name next week. He looks like you and has a show and thunders of color dots. Next week, glasses, quotes, and bottoms from the glue gust, even though you just heard them. Bear, next, bear week, next week. They're scary, hairy, and here live. Always leans forward, pointy shoulders, squinty eyes, very Jewish. In tennis, you attack at the point of the weakness. It was my grandmother, Ken. She's 81. Honey, her backhand's a joke. I'm not going to take advantage of that. Quiet, please. Actual work going on here. Is that the same beat? Yes, it is. I'm helping him sue the human race. Hello. Hello, B. This is Ken. Yeah, I remember you. Timberlin. Size 10 and a half. Five months old, I believe. Why does he talk again? <clears throat> Listen, you better go, because we're really busy working. But it's our yogurt night. Bye-bye. Why is yogurt night so difficult? You poor thing. You two have been 
at this for hours. Yes, and Adam here has been a huge help. Frosting, how many how many sugars? Just one. I try not to use competition. So why are you helping me? Bees have good qualities, and it takes me off of my mind with job. Instead of flowers, people are giving balloon bouquets now. Those are great if you if you're three. And artificial flowers. Oh, those get those just get me psychotic. Yeah, me too. Ben stingers, pointless self pollination. Bees must hate those fake things. Nothing worse than a daffodil that's hard work done. That's had work done. Maybe this could make up for a little bit of it. This is lawsuit to a pretty big deal, I guess. You sure you know want to go through with it? Am I sure when I'm done? When I'm done with the humans, they won't be able to say, "Honey, I'm home," without paying your royalty. It's an incredible scene here in down, downtown Manhattan, where the world anxiously waits because of the first time in history we will hear ourselves. If a honey, honeybee can actually speak, what have we gone into here, Ben? Barry, it's pretty big, isn't it? I can't believe how many humans don't work during the day. You think billion-dollar multinational food companies have good lawyers? Everybody needs to stay behind the barricade. What's the matter? I don't know. I just gotta chill. Well, if it isn't the B team, you boys work on this? All right, the Honorable Judge Bumbleton President. All right, case number 4475. Superior Court of New York, Barry B. Benson, B. The Honey Industry, is now in session. Mr. Mon Montgomery, you're representing the five food companies collectively? A privilege. Mr. Benson, you're representing all the bees in the world? I'm kidding. Yes, Your Honor, we re we're ready to proceed. Mr. Montgomery, you're opening the same, please. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, my grandmother was a simple woman. Born on a farm, she believed it was to man's fine right to benefit from the bounty of nature God put before us. If we lived in the top... The top of every world, Mr. Benson imagines. Just imagine what it would mean. It would mean negotiate with the silkworm for the last six of my of my bitch, britches. Talking be, how do we know this isn't some sort of holographic motion picture capture Hollywood history? They they could be using laser beams, robotics, ventriloquism, cloning. For all we know, he could be on steroids, Mr. Benson. Ladies and gentlemen, there's no trick over here. I'm just an ordinary bee. Honey's pretty important to me. It's all important to all bees. We invented it. We make it and we protect it with our lives. Unfortunately, there are some people in this room who think they can take it from us. Because we're little guys. I'm hoping that after all this is over, you'll see how by taking our honey, you not only take everything we have, but everything we are. I wish we dressed like that all the time. So nice. Call your first witness. So much for... Klaus Vanderheim with Honey Farms. Big company you have. I suppose so. I see you also own Honey Burden and Honey Run. Yes, they provide beekeepers for our farms. Beekeeper? I find that be to be a very disturbing term. I don't imagine you employ any bee, bee freers, do you? No, I couldn't hear. No, no. Because you don't free bees. You keep bees. Not only that. It seems that you thought a bear would be an appropriate image for a humming jar. They're very lovable creatures. Yogi Bear, Frosty Bear, Build a Bear. You mean like this? Bears kill bees. How'd you like this? his head crashing through your living room? Uh, biting into your couch. Splitting out, out your throw pillows. Okay, that's enough. Take him away. So, Mr. Stain, thank you for being here. Your name intrigues me. Intrigues me. Where have I heard it for? I was with the band called, called the police. But you, you've never been a police officer, have you? No, I haven't. No, you haven't. And so here we have an, yet another example of bee culture, casually shown by human, for nothing more than a prance without a stage name. Oh, please, have you ever been stung by Mr. Sting? Um, stung Mr. Sting? Because I'm feeling a little stung, Sting. Or should I say Mr. Gordon M. Summer? That's not his real name, you idiots. Mr. Leota first. But lady, congratulations. Your Emmy win for was for a guest spot on, on ER in 2005. Thank you, thank you. I see from the resume that you definitely, definitely have some. With a churning inner tone that's ready to blow. I enjoy what I do. Is that a crime? Not yet, it isn't. But is this what it's come to for you? It's for tiny help with fees? So you don't. Have to rehearse your part and learn your lines, sir? Watch it, Benson. I could blow right now. This isn't good, fella. This is bad, fella. Why doesn't someone just step on this creep before we can all go home? Order in this court. You're all thinking it. Order. Order, I say. Say it, Mr. Leota. Please sit down. I think it was awfully nice of the bear to pitch in like that. I think the jury's on our side. Are we doing everything right le legally? I'm a florist. Right. Well, here's here's to a great team. To a great team. Well, hello. Ken, hello. I don't think you're, you're coming. No, I was just a little late. I tried to call, but the battery. I didn't want all this to go to waste, so I called Barry. Luckily, it was free. Oh, that was lucky. There's a little left. I can heat it up. Yeah, heat it up. Sure, whatever. So I hear you're quite a tennis player. I'm not much for the game myself. The ball's pretty grabby. Yeah, that's where I usually sit, right, right there. Ken Barry was looking at your resume, and he agreed that he agreed with me that eating with chopsticks isn't really a special skill. You think I don't see what you're doing? 
I know how hard it is to find the right job. We have to yeah, that in common. Do we? We have hundred percent employment, but we do have, but we do jobs like taking the crud out. That's just what I was thinking about doing. Can I let Barry borrow, borrow your your razor for his fuzz? I hope that's all right. I'm going to drain the old stinger. Yeah, you do that. Look at that. You know, I've I've just about had that with your little mind game. What's that Italian Vogue? Mamma Mia, that's a lot of pages, a lot of ads. Remember what Ben said? Ben said, why is it your life is more valuable than mine? Funny, I, I just can't seem to recall that. I think something stinks in here. I love small flowers. How do you like small flames? Not as much. The water bug, not taking sides. Ken, I'm wearing a, ch a chapstick hat. <laughs> I've got issues. Well, 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 a royal flush. You're bluffing, am I? Sure, up, dude. Poo water. That bull's gnarly. Except for those dark, dirty yellow rings. Kenneth, what are you doing? You know I don't even like honey. I don't even eat it. We need to talk. He's just a little bee, and he happens to be the nicest bee I've been in a long time. Long time? What are you talking about? Are the other bees? Are there other bugs in your life? No, but there are other things bugging me in my life, and you're one of them. <clears throat> Fine, talking bees. No yogurt night. My my nerves are fried from riding on this emotional roller coaster. Goodbye, Ken. And for your information, I prefer sugar-free artificial sweeteners made by men. I'm sorry about all that. I know it's got an aftertaste. I like it. I always felt there was some kind of barrier between Ken and me. I couldn't overcome it. Oh well. Are you okay for the trial? I believe Mr. Montgomery is about is out of ideas. We would like to call Mr. Barry B. Benson to the stand. Barry Benson B. to the stand. Uh, good idea. You can really see why he's considered one of the best lawyers. Yeah. Layton, you've got to weave some magic. With this, with this jury, or it's going to be all over. <clears throat> don't worry. The only thing I have to do is to turn this jury around is to remind them uh, why they don't like what they don't like about bees. You got the tweezers. Are you allergic? Only to losing, son. Only to losing. Mr. Benz B, I'll ask you what, what I think we'd all love to know. What exactly is your relationship to that woman? We're friends. Good friends, yes. How good? Do you live together? Wait a minute. Are you a little bed bug? Are you her? Are you her little bed bug? Oh my God, that's a little. Oh, I've seen a bee documentary too, from what I understand. Doesn't your queen give birth to all the bee children? Yeah, but so those aren't your real parents. Oh, Barry, yes, yes they are. Hold me up. You're an illegit illegitimate bee, aren't you, ben Benson? He's denouncing bees. Don't all date your cousins. Objection! I'm going to turn cuffs on this guy. Adam, don't. He's. That's what he wants. Oh, I'm hit. Oh, Lordy, I'm hit. Oh, the, oh, the, the venom, the venom is causing to my veins. I've been failed by a wing based of destruction. You see, you can't treat them like equals. They're striped savages. Sting is the only thing they know. It's their way. Adam, stay with me. I can't feel my legs. What angel of mercy will come forward to suck the poison from my heathen buttocks? I will have order in this cult. Order, order, please. The case of the honeybee versus the human race. Take a point of turn against bees. Yesterday, when, when one of their legal teams stung Lathan T. Montgomery. Hey, buddy. Hey, is there much pain? Yeah. I, I believe the whole case did not. It doesn't matter what matters is you're alive. You could have died. I'd be better off dead. Look at me. They got it from the cafeteria downstairs and a tuna sandwich. Look, there's a little celery still in it. Was that... What was it like to think someone? I can't explain it. It was all, all adrenaline, adrenaline and then... And then ex ecstasy. All right. You think it was all a trap? Of course. I'm sorry. I flew us right into it. What were you thinking? Look at us. We're just a couple of bugs in this world. What will the, what will the humans do to us? They win. I don't know. I already put roaches in motels. So that doesn't sound so bad. Adam, they check in, but they don't check out. Oh my. Could you get a nurse to close the window? Why? The smoke. Bees don't smoke. Right. Bees don't smoke. Bees don't smoke. But bees, some bees are smoking. That's it. That's okay. So what is it? It is. It's not over. Get dressed. I've got to go somewhere. Get back to our court and stall. Stall it any way you can. And assuming you've done step, step correctly, you're ready for the for the top. Mr. Flayman? Yes, yes, Your Honor. Where is the rest of your team? Well, Your Honor, it's interesting. Bees are, are trying to fly half hazardly and as a result, we didn't make a very good time. I actually heard a funny story about Your Honor, haven't these ridiculous folks taken up enough of this court trial of time? How much longer will you allow these absurd standards to go on? They have presented no compelling or evidence to support their charges. Against my clients who run alleged men of business says, I move for a complete dismissal of this entire class. Okay, so Mr. Flayman, I'm afraid I'm going to have to consider Mr. Montgomery's motion. But you can't. We have a terrific case. Where's the proof? Where's the evidence? Show me a smoking gun. Hold it, Your Honor. You want, you want a smoking gun? Here's your smoking gun. What is that? That's a beast smoker. What is this? What's this? It's a it's harmless little contraption. This couldn't hurt a fly, let alone a bee. Look at, look at what's happened. Bees have never been, been asked. Smoking or not, is this what nature intended for us? To be forcefully addicted to smoke machines and man made wind slat work camps, living out our lives as honey saves to the white man? What are we gonna do? He's playing a species card. Ladies and gentlemen, please. 
free of these beasts, free of these beasts, free of the beasts, free of the beasts, free of the beasts, free of the beasts. The court finds in favor of the beast. Vanessa, we won. I knew you could do it. High five. Sorry. I'm okay. You know what, what this means? All the honey will, will finally belong to the beast. Now we won't have to work so hard all the time. This is an unholy version of the balance of nature, Benson. You'll regret this. Barry, how much honey is out there? All right, one at a time. Barry, who are you wearing? My sweater is Ralph Lauren, and I have no pants. And what if Montgomery's right? What, what do you mean? We've been living the B way a long time, 27 million years. Congratulations on your victory. Well, you demand a settlement. First, we'll demand a complete shutdown of all B word camps. Then we want the ho want back the honey that was ours to begin with. Every last drop. We demand on it. We demand an end to the glorification of the bear as anything more. Then filthy, smelly, bad breath from the sink machine. We're all aware of that of what they do in the woods. Wait for a signal. For a signal. Take them out. He'll have nauseous. He'll, he'll have nauseous for a few hours. Then he'll be fine. And we will no longer tolerate tolerate B negative nicknames, but as just parents about stage name, unnecess unnecessary inclusion of honey and bogus health products, and la di da human tea time snack garnishments. Can't breathe. Bring it in, boys. Hold it right there. Good. Tap it. Miss Buswell. We just passed three cups, and there's gallons more coming. I think we need to shut down. Shut down. What? We've never shut down. Shut down honey production. Stop making honey. Turn your key, sir. What do you do now? Cannonball. We're shutting honey production. Mission report. Abort to pollination and, and nectar detail. Return to base. Okay, still going. Alright. Uh. Okay, let's see where I was. Alright, remember. What do you know? Cannonball, we're turning down on your mission board. Born of a whole nation. Adam, you wouldn't believe how much honey was out there. Oh, yeah? What's going on? Where's everybody? Are they out celebrating their home? They don't know what to do. Laying out, sleeping in. I heard your uncle Carl was, was on the way to San Antonio with the cricket. At least we got our money back. We got our honey back. Sometimes I think, so what if humans like your honey? Who wouldn't? It's the greatest thing in the world. I was excited to be part of making it. This is my new desk. This is my new job. I wanted to do it really well. And now, now I can't. I don't understand why they're not happy. I thought the lives would be better. They're not doing it. Not, they're doing nothing. It's amazing. Honey really changes people. You don't have any idea what's going on, do you? What did you want to show me? This. What happened here? This is not the half of it. Oh, no. Oh, my. They're all wi wilting. Doesn't look very good, does it? No. And whose fault do you think that is? You know, I'm going to get the bees. Bees? Specifically me. I didn't think bees not, not needing to make honey would affect all these things. It's not just flowers. Fruits, vegetables, and all these all need bees. They all need bees. That's our whole SAT test right there. Take away produce that, that affects the entire animal kingdom. And then, of course, the human species. So if there's no, po more, no more pollination, it could all just go south here, couldn't it? I know this is also partly my fault. How about su a suicide pack? How do we do it? I'll see you. You step on me. That just kills you twice. <laughs> right, right. Listen, Barry. Sorry, but I, I gotta get going. I had to open my mouth to talk. Vanessa? Vanessa, why are you leaving? Beth, where are you going? The final tournament of Rosa's Parade in, in Pasadena. They've moved to the, to this into this weekend because of all the flowers are dying. It's the last chance I'll ever have to see it. Vanessa, I just want to say I'm sorry. I never meant to, for it to turn out like this. I know. Me neither. Turn on the roses. Roses can't do sports. Wait a minute. Roses. 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 Vanessa. Roses. Barry. Roses are flowers. Yes, they are. Flowers. Bees. Pollen. I know. That's why this is the last parade. Maybe not. Could you ask him to slow down? So could you slow down? Barry. Okay, I made a huge mistake. This is a total disaster. All my fault. Yes, it kind of is. I ruined the planet. I wanted to help you. With the flower shop, it, I made it worse. Actually, it's completely closed down. I thought maybe you were rem remodeling, but I have another idea, and it's greater than my previous ideas combined. I don't want to hear it. All right. They, they have the roses, th and the roses have fallen. I know every bee plant and, plow and flower bud in this park. All we got to do is get what they got back here with what they've got. Bees, park, pollen, flowers, repollination, cross nation, tournament of roses, Pasadena, California. But they've got nothing but flowers, floats, and cotton candy. Security will be tight. I have an idea. Vanessa Bloom, FTD, official flower business. It's real. Sorry, man. Nice proof. Thank you. It was good. Once, man, we just, once inside, we just picked the right boat. How about the princess and the pea? I could be the princess and you could be the pea. Yes, I've got it. Where should I sit? What are you? I believe I'm the pea. The pea? It goes under the mattress. Not in the fairy tale, sweetheart. I'm getting the marshal. You do that. The whole parade is a, fi is a fiasco. It's... Let's see what this what this people do. Hey, what do you? Doing? Then we all we do is blend in with traffic without arousing suspicion. Once in the, at the airport, there's no stopping us. Stop security. Uh, you and your insect insect pack you, your float. Yes, has it been in your possession the entire time? Would you move your shoes? Remove your stinger? It's part of me. I know. It's just, I was just having some fun. Enjoy flight. Then if we're lucky, we'll have just enough pollen to do, to do the job. Can you believe how lucky we are? We have just enough pollen to do the job. I think this is going to work. It's got to work. Attention, pastures. This is Captain Scott. We have a bit of bad weather in, in New York. It looks like we'll experience a couple of hours of day. Barry, 
Perry, these are cut these are cut flowers, no bother. They'll never make it. I gotta get up there and talk to them. Be careful. Can I get help with Skywall from Skywall magazine? I like to order the talking inflatable nose and the ear hair trimmer. Captain, I'm in a real situation. What'd you say, Hal? Nothing. B. Don't freak out. My entire species. What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm in training. Who's in training? Don't move. Oh, Barry. Good afternoon, passengers. This is Captain. Would have missed Vanessa Bloom in 248. Please support the cockpit. And please hurry. What happened here? There's a dustbuster. Two pay alert. A left draft. Toyota. One spot. One spot. And they're both unconscious. Is that another B joke? No! No one's flying the plane. This is JFK controlled power. Flight 356. What's your status? This is Vanessa Bloom. I'm Forrest from New York. Where's Pilot? He's unconscious. And so is Pilot. Co pilot. Co pilot. <coughs> Not good. Does anyone on board have flight experience? As a matter of fact, there is. Who's that? Barry Benson. From the Honey Trial? Oh, great. Vanessa, this is nothing more than Big Metal Beat. It's got good... It's got giant wings, huge engines. I can't fly a plane. Why not? Isn't John Travolta a pilot? Yes. How hard could it be? Wait, Barry. We're, we're heading into some lightning. This is Bob Bumble. We, we have some late breaking news from JFK Airport. There's a suspenseful scene. It's developing. Barry Benson, fresh from his legal victory. That's Barry. Is attempting a land plane... Uh, is uh, is attempting to land a plane loaded with people, flowers, and in cap and captivated flight crew. Flowers? We have to we have a storm in the area and two individuals at the, co at the controls with absolutely no fly flight experience. Just a minute, there's a bee on that plane. I'm quite familiar with Mr. Benton, and there's no account compadres. They've they've done enough damage. But seeing your only hope, technically a bee shouldn't be able to fly at all. The, their wings are too small. Haven't we heard this a million times? The surface of the area of the wings of the body mass. No sense. Get this on the air. Got it. Stand by. We're going live. The way we work may be a mystery to you. Making honey takes a lot of bees, doing a lot of small jobs. But let me tell you about a small job. And if you do it well, it makes a big difference. More than we lost. To us, to everyone. That's why I wanted to get bees back to working together. That's the way. We're not made of jello. We we behind a fellow, black and yellow. Hello. Left, right, down, hover. Ho hover? Forget hover. This isn't so hard. Beep, 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 beep. Barry, what happened? Wait, I think we... We were on code autopilot the whole time. What? That may have been, been helping me. And now we're not. So it turns out I cannot fly plane. All of you, are, let's get let's get behind this fellow. Move it out. Move out. Uh, our only chance is, is if I do what I do. You copy me with the wings of the plane. Don't have to yell. I'm not yelling. We're in a lot of trouble. It's very hard to concentrate with a panic tone in your voice. It's not a tone. I'm panicking. I can't do this. Vanessa, pull yourself together. You have to snap out of it. You 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 snap out of it. Hold it. Why? Come in. Come on. It's my turn. How is the plane flying? I don't know. Hello? Benson. Got any flowers for a happy occasion there? The Paul Jocks. Hey, they do have good behind a fellow. Black and yellow. Hello? All right. Let's drop this tin can on the blacktop. Where? I can't see anything. Can you? No, nothing. It's all cloudy. Come on. You gotta think B, Barry. Think B. Think B. Think B. Think B. Think B. Think B. Wait a minute. I think I'm feeling something. What? I don't know. It's wrong. It's pulling me. Like a 27 million year old instinct. Bring the nose down. Think B. Think B. Think B. When the world is, is on the target. Get on the B. Get on lights on that. Think B. Think B. Think B. Vanessa, aim for, aim for the flower. Okay. Out with the engines. We're going, we're going in on the B power. Ready, boys? Affirmative. Good. Good. Easy now. That's it. Land on that flower. Ready? Full reverse. Spin around. Not that flower, not the other one. Which one? The flower. I mean, we got the flower. That's the fat guy in the flower shirt. I mean, the giant pulsating flower. I made a million, of, made a million of, of millions of bees. Pull forward, nose down, tail up, rotate around it. This is insane, Barry. This is the only way I know how to fly. Am I cuckoo, cuckoo, or is this plane flying like an, in an insect-like pattern? Get your nose in there. Don't be afraid. Smell it. Full reverse. Just drop it. Be a part of it. Aim for the center. Now drop it. Drop it in. Drop it in, woman. Come on. Alrighty. Barry, we did it. You taught me how to fly. Yes, no, high five. All right, Barry, it worked. Do you see the giant flower? What giant flower? Where? Of course. I saw a flower. That was genius. Thank you. We're not done yet. Listen, everyone. This runaway is covered with last pollen from the last flowers that are available anywhere on Earth. That means that this is our last chance. We're the only ones who make honey, pollinate flowers, and dress like this. If we're going to survive, survive a species, this is, our last, this is our moment. What do you say? Are we going to do the bees or just museum of natural history keychains? We're bees! Keychain! Then follow me. Accept keychain. Hold on, Barry. Here. You've earned this. Yeah. I'm a Paul Jock, and it's a perfect fit. All I gotta do are the, are the sleeves. Oh, yeah. That's our Barry. Mom, the bees are back. If anybody needs to make a call, now's the time. I got a feeling we'll make a, a work in late, uh, late night. Late night. Here's your change. Have a great afternoon. Can I help you next? Would you like some honey with that? 
uh, it's been approved. Don't forget these milk, cream, cheese, stall me, and I don't see a nickel. Sometimes I just feel like a piece of meat. I have no idea. Barry, I'm sorry. Have you got a moment? Would you excuse me? My mosquito associate will help you. Sorry, I'm late. He's a lawyer, too. I always had a blood second parasite. All I need, I was already blood second. All I need was a, a briefcase. <laughs> have a great afternoon. Barry, I just got this huge tulip border, and I can't get them anywhere. No problem, Vanny. Just leave it to me. Your life's there, Barry. Can I help? Who's next? Uh, all right, scramble dogs. It's time to fly. Thank you, Barry. That beast is living my life. Let it go, Kenny. When will this nightmare end? Let it all go. Beautiful day to fly. Sure it is. Between you and me, I was dying to get out of the office. You have you have got to start thinking B, my friend. Thinking B? Me. Hold it. Let's just stop for a second. Hold it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, everyone. Can we stop here? I'm not making a major life decision during a production number. All right. Take 10, everybody. Wrap it up, guys. I had virtually no rehearsal for that. Thank you, everybody. This was the B-Movie Unfolded.